Hello and welcome to the first video of the tutorial how to get an avatar from DiviNard to Unity into VRChat. So what we do in this tutorial, in this video, we just go over to the Blender part and in the next video we do the Unity part. So what we need is Blender, what you can download over Steam or over the, the homepage of our over the home page from Blender itself. The Cat's Blender plugin that you can get here and on that link here. I will post the links underneath the video and for sure a model where you can find on Divinard, Ballroll, Nico Nico Video. Mine is now from Divinard. You can find downloads in the descriptions or on the right side over here. I downloaded mine already. I made it here. So we have the avatar, the cat's blender plugin and blender. So we open blender and it opens in another window. So we just click around this window. So we have a cube. What we do now is double tap A to select everything, press X and then delete for an empty scene. And then we go to the top left on file, on file, then user preferences, control A. Control Alt U, then open this window. Here we click on Add ons. There, install add on from file. Now we need to look where we saved it. I saved it on the desktop. Double tap that and wait. Then we got that, this window. And there we have here 3D View Cats Blender plugin. Then we select this field need this time so there it is now we get the tab cats over here now we have I made a bigger so and now we click on import model go on the desktop I save mine on the desktop on the model package on my model now three different ones I chose this one so now you get your avatar dot PMX then you open this so there we go, then we have it in-game, and uh, not in-game, in Blender. So what we do now is we can click on fix model, but I will do a full body avatar. So I go on this little sign over here and click here on apply full body tracking fix. So I just select this and then I click on fix model. So... Dun -dun. So there it is. Now the avatar has his textures. So everything what the full body thing is doing is just turn the spine bone around and add those two bones. That's all what it does. But I just want to make it full body for now and that you know how it works. Otherwise you just don't have it full body and yeah. So then we click here on model options. Then we go here to uh, to the translation tab. We can translate the shape keys, the bones, the objects, the materials. I translate everything. It will just translate the bones here. Uh, the bones are here. And the shape keys over here. What I do now is the eye tracking. That's the tab underneath. What we do have here is the head bone. Is the head bone, the left eye is eye left, right eye is eye right, blink left is blink two, and blink right is blink right. There is something wrong by me. Um, that need to be, I think blink, wink left, okay. Um, I don't have that, so I'm just going over here. Chase basic. And just need. Do we have blink? Yeah, we have blink. So, what I do now is just I don't use the right eye shape key and the left eye shape key. I just use the blink shape key. It's just. It's just one shape key that use both eyes. Otherwise, you just have the shape key that only use the right eye and the shape key only use the left eye. But I use now. 
the one for only one eye uh, for both eyes so I click on create now I test it so down up uh, nope. right right left blink okay work stop eye tracking so we did that for now and then we have the wisms that's R O C H. Otherwise, is there R U T? Both of them work, so we create the wisms to check if those work. You can't have really check for it, but you can click on this tab and then on the body, on the body and shape keys and then you see VRC blink, VRC AH, CH, though uh, those shape keys we need later in Unity so make sure you have them. So what we do now is going again here and do that back. So the avatar is ready for Unity now so what we do now is click on file um, no, before we do that, I want to say something to you. We have over here above the tries. Make sure that you're under, I think, 70,000? 70,000, 80,000? Somewhere around that is the limit. So make sure your avatar is underneath it to move it over into Unity. So when you want to do that, you can do it over the decimation tab or just go over the materials and then select the body and do it all by hand but most times the avatar are under this limit and you don't need to do something when you want to see that i can make a tutorial to it also so we go on file export then we chose an fbx because unity is working with an fbx or I think OB something else, but we chose FBX. Then we click on desktop and then I go back to the files where my avatar was inside. I call her Red, give her a name, YouTube, Red Girl, and then we export it. So that's everything you have to do in Blender. So I hope to see you in the next part of the video where we drag this avatar into Unity and then finish it and drag it into VRChat. So see you guys, leave a like and maybe leave a subscribe. See ya!